So to begin coding our website, we're going to need a few things. So the first thing you need is a working server like this one. So I'm using ZAMP as my server. You can use any server that you want of your choice. But if you want to use ZAMP, you can uh, check the link in the description to see how to install ZAMP if you don't already have it. Make sure you start MySQL and Apache. So click on start on both of these buttons to make sure that everything is running. Okay, so once you have that, the next thing you need is a text editor. So you can use any text editor, even good old Notepad for Windows, that's fine. But I will be using Sublime Text as this is my favorite at the moment. So nothing special about it, it's just a text editor. Okay, so and then once you install ZAMP, you have to go to drive C in the ZAMP folder and then go to htdocs and in here this is where our um, our website is going to reside so I created a folder called eShop so you can name the folder anything you want and then go inside the folder and actually instead of going in there let's just drag the folder into sublime text like so and then sublime text will give us this view where we can add some files this side. We'll see all the files that we are working on. All right, so if you have all that set up, then you are ready to go. And also you need definitely a browser. Okay, so how you will know that your ZAMP is working right, just go to your browser and right here you click localhost, type localhost and click enter. And then if you see this, then you installed everything correctly. Okay, we are good to go now. All right, so to begin coding, we're going to use a system called MVC. So that's Model View Controller. So MVC, MVC like that. So that's Model View Controller. Now, as the name suggests, we're going to separate our website into models and views and controllers. So this is important because it helps to organize our website better. And the other thing is we're going to use object-oriented programming. So this is OOP. And I use both of these things simply because they are scalable. On a, It's easier to scale these things. And, you know, an e-commerce website is a busy website quite a big website, especially when you have users using it and so on. So if there's an issue on the website, you have to be able to fix it relatively quickly. And so if you use this MVC format, it's going to be easier to know exactly where to go when there's a problem. Okay, so that's that about MVC. So to begin, let's go to our folder here. This is eShop. That's the main folder, which is inside C. Uh, ZAMP htdocs and now if you're using a different server htdocs might be a different folder like for example public html or www that would be the folder so that's where you put your eShop folder in there as I have done here so I'm going to right click here and just create two folders inside this one so I'm going to create one folder and I'll name this one um, app so that will be our actual application. And then again inside eShop, so I'm right clicking on eShop and creating a new folder, another folder called public. Public like so. So you can name this public underscore HTML or something like that if you want, but I'll leave it as public. Press enter. There we go. So we have two folders in here. If I go to my browser and go inside eShop, I will see that I have two folders in there. Okay, very good. Now, our public folder will contain uh, all the information that can be accessed by the public. So this is things like our CSS, our images that are used on the system. And then our app folder is going to contain all the sensitive uh, files, the PHP files like functions, and all those files that we don't want the public to actually know about. Now, one security tip I'm going to give you is that all the files, unless it's actually necessary, you must save your file as a .php file all the time. So 
don't be tempted to save files as txt uh, that's not a good idea so let's add a few files to our system here okay so inside uh, app public actually let's right click and create a new folder in here i'm going to call this one assets assets like so okay so that's where our assets are going to be and then inside app i'm going to create a new folder i will call this one uh, core and then i will create another one i'll call this one controllers and then i'll create another one i'll call this one models and then uh what else is remaining i'll make another one inside eShop uh inside app sorry and i'll call this one views okay so this is the folder structure we're going to have here so let me go to my folder here and show you what it has so inside app there's these folders here view models views models core and controllers and inside public we have assets now one last thing to do inside public we're going to create a new file called index.php and save this one right there okay so let's put our php tags in there and save it all right so this is the mvc file structure we have done right here and we're going to end here for this video and we'll continue in the next video where we add some files inside these folders see you then